In this lesson, we're going to be covering the G major triads throughout the fretboard. So we're going to start with G in first position. We have our third finger on the sixth string third fret and our second finger on the second fret of the fifth string. We play this together. We have our first G triad. When the notes are G, to the seventh position and use our fourth finger on G, our third finger on B, and our first finger on D. That will be the fourth finger on the tenth fret, fifth string, third finger on the ninth fret, fourth string, the first finger on the seventh fret, third string. So all together that's So let's now move to the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings. We're going to use our 3rd finger on the 4th uh, string, 5th fret, our 2nd finger on the 4th fret, 3rd string, and our 1st finger on the 3rd fret, 2nd string. Again, that's G. So our last root position triad that we can play for G is going to be on the 10th position with our 3rd finger on the 12th fret 3rd string, and our 4th finger on the 12th fret 2nd string, and our 1st finger on the 10th fret 1st string. Alternative finger you can use too for this is the second and third fingers. It's a bit of a stretch, but it frees up the pinky for any notes after these fingers. So you can use the second finger on the third string, 12th fret, and the third finger on the second string, 12th fret. Okay, so now um, if we want more uh, of these triads, we can just move up past the 12th fret, so we can have our fourth finger on the uh, 15th fret of the sixth string, and our ring finger on the 14th fret of the fifth string, and our first finger on the 12th fret of the fourth string. Which again is the same as our first position, just an octave higher. same can be done here on the uh, 15th fret we can play the uh, G major triad here the third finger on the 17th fret the second finger on the uh, third string 16th fret and the first finger on the um, second string uh, 15th fret Okay, so that is uh, the G major triads and root position throughout the fretboard.